that's the place to be. Exactly. Matter of fact, Marshall Hughes is out along the uh, course right now to get us an update on how things are shaping up a little bit further down from where we are. Marshall. Hey, I'm right by the start and finish line here on Gay Street, and we're going to be talking about this Criterium race coming up tonight. Uh, plenty of times before that gets started, and if, if you're a fan of any type of race, the Criterium is where you want to be tonight. It promises to be filled with all sorts of excitement and lead changes, and it is fast-paced. Travis McCabe, one of the cyclists we spoke to, he just wants to be near the finish and hopefully in first place when it's all said and done. The Prescott, Arizona native, he's considered one of the favorites in tonight's men's crit race. He donned the Stars and Stripes jersey in the crit back in 2017. Uh, he couldn't repeat as a champion uh, when the race moved back to Knoxville last year. This event, though, as unpredictable as it gets, and for McCabe, that's just part of the draw. Last year didn't really go the way I wanted, but hoping to get some redemption this year, 2019. I wasn't really ready for the heat and humidity, to be honest. I ended up cramping in the road race with three laps to go. And the crit goes down to the tactics of the racing as well. I was in good position. And I got caught up behind a crash with 200 meters to go. And sometimes that's just the race. Anything can happen, and you never know who's going to win. So keep an eye on Travis McCabe tonight in the men's criterium race. That will be set to start around 725. Until then, Right now, our track pretty clear. The uh, pair of cyclists starting to show up. A little bit of rain starting to fall here on Gay Street, but hopefully that won't be a problem as the races get started here at 445. Until then, live in downtown Knoxville, Marshall Hughes, WATE 6, on your side. All right, thank you so very much, Marshall. I can't